Now, in this next set of stories, we're continuing with our unit on relationships and communication. And with that, we are reading two more texts. Um, Elizabeth Talent's No One's a Mystery, from, uh, which is 1985, and uh, David Foster Wallace's Good People, which is 2007. Now, as you are reading these stories, you want to keep in mind the larger scope of our of our unit here. The ideas of um, ambiguous endings, the ideas of mismatched expectations, and the ideas of flawed communication are major factors here. Um, Elizabeth Talent's story in 1985, you know, comparing the couple here to the couple in Hemingway's story is a really interesting, um, interesting thought exercise, um, as well as the circumstances of their relationship and, and how that changes, you know, the way we interpret their relationship on the page. Likewise, David Foster Wallace's story also deals with uh, the, the issue of abortion, which, you know, in comparing the 2007 representation of that um, is very interesting. Now you have uh, various sort of connections to Hemingway's story to note. So in talent story, we have an age gap, very similar to what we have in Hemingway's story. Whereas in good people, in the second story, we do not. Um, we understand this couple to be roughly around the same age. You want to think about how that changes things. We also, in our unit on relationships and communication, have an example of three completely different narrator points of view. Hemingway's story is third-person objective, probably a, one of the most classic examples of third-person objective. We have no insight into the characters' minds. Talent story is written in first person. So you want to think about how the subjectivity and, and narrower point of view of a first person story would influence the way we understand that story. And then in David Foster Wallace's um, Good People, we have a third person limited point of view. So more focused on one of these characters, but uh, with insight into their mind, but not first person insight that comes with that subjectivity. So as you are reading, you want to think about the different connections and comparisons between these three stories in our unit. Um, you want to think about how narrator point of view changes things. You want to think about how time, place, character changes things and the similarities in the plot conflicts that exist in the stories of this theme.